What's going on, Stu? Uh, checking my emails here. Thought I would press the record button. Let's see. From Earth Massa 5533. Dear Dear Joe. How on earth do you do a backflip? I saw your video and I've tried multiple times. I I can't seem to push myself to lean back in the air. My body just doesn't seem to want me to. How did you learn what tips can you give? Well, I learned because I was in a not a jitsu class, a taekwondo class, and everybody would stay after and we'd do all these flips and stuff. And one day, uh, these guys were doing a 720 flips and 540 kicks and stuff, and like, oh yeah, we're cool. Hey Joe, what can you do? And I was like, I can watch. I'm a really good watcher, I'm a really good supporter. Do that flip. So I really, I really didn't know how to do anything. So um, the backflip is like the base move for every fancy thing. So I figured I'd learn the backflip. My goal was not the backflip, my goal was something more advanced, so getting the backflip wasn't really an option. I, I kind of had to get the backflip, and uh, I probably went out like 30 times before I actually tried it. Uh, I used a very thin mat, and I, uh, I ate dirt the first time I tried it, and uh, by like the fifth time I nailed it, and it only took me really five minutes to learn. But, uh, you said you can't seem to lean back in the air. Well, let's see, what can I use here? I will demonstrate with this fish whistle. So, uh, I'd start by doing a front flip to get your body to lean in the air. A front flip is much easier because you run when you do it, so let's say this is the ground. Instead of doing a back flip, you would you would want to run for it and then plant yourself kind of like your pole building and then just shoot yourself over and you'll be very low to the ground the whole time and then just land on your feet but you've got to commit to it and that one's much easier to commit to since you're running it, it kind of jumps for you and uh it's a uh, it's a hard thing to do the back flip you're going to want to jump as high as you possibly can to get as much air off the ground as you can. And the back flip is much harder than the front flip be simply because it's harder to commit to. With the, the front flip and uh, other sports and stuff, kind of like skateboarding or biking, it's like you're in motion and you, you get to the point where it hits the ramp and you've got to do something. You can't, you can't just, oh, all right, hold up, you can't stop. Well, with the backflip, you can stop, and that's what makes it so much harder than anything else. And, uh, you know, if you've never done it before, the left side of your brain is saying, all right, let's do this, let's nail this backflip. The right side is saying, hey, hey, whoa, I don't know how to do this, I don't want to do this. Uh, so you get to that point where you're, like, right there, and it's like, nope, no thanks, I'm out. So it's, it's, it's pretty hard to learn, but uh, you really just have to commit to it. And uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... Uh, jump as high as you can, bringing your arms with you to give you that extra momentum. And then, once you jump, you'll be in the air like this. This is where you tuck your arms in, and you're going to want to lean back with it. Take your arms back and lean back, and then you're going to want to tuck your legs, which will roll you over. So keep that in mind when you're trying it. Uh, and, uh, what tips? Well, I can only really give one more tip, I suppose. It's, uh, Everybody's different. There's guys uh, I was telling you about that were doing like 720 flips and stuff. Uh, there's this guy, I think his name is Daniel. Yeah, it, was, it definitely was Daniel. And he's doing like breakdancing moves like the windmill on the floor. And I'm like, what the fuck? How do you do that? And you know, I can't do this worth anything. But then the guy tries a backflip and his head is this far from hitting the ground every single time. Can't nearly do a backflip. So, you know, like, he could do this really advanced stuff, but he couldn't do a backflip. And uh, I can do a backflip, but, you know, it's harder for me to do that really advanced stuff. And, uh, there's, uh, certain aspects that come to it. He's used to m moving around, being at all different, uh, positions at the same time that he can't do a stationary backflip. I bet if he was, uh, and you can't run forward and do a backflip on the ground, that's crazy. I, I suppose you could, but... Not if you're just learning. 
it's it's uh, it comes down to what I said before. It's really easy to wimp out of a backflip, and uh, I can do a stationary backflip, but you know I can't do any of that stuff he was he was doing on the ground, which is maybe even easier than the backflip. I just can't do it. And uh, you know, like a, I just tried a wall flip like a like earlier today, and I can't do it. I I thought I could do the wall flip, and uh, you know I have a picture on Facebook of I have a wall flip picture on Facebook and uh I can't do it anymore I can't do it you know because uh, I learned the stationary backflip and I I come down and I land in the exact same spot where I took off at so I'm gonna I run up to the wall and I'm gonna you know hit my face on the wall I kind of as you can see I messed up my chin earlier today because I just ate dirt trying to do that wall backflip I completely ate dirt I had a, a gnarly video of it too, but I accidentally deleted it. It was like break.com worthy, honestly. But, uh, you know, if, uh, just keep trying, trying at the backflip, and if you just can't do it, try it on a trampoline. Trampoline makes it much easier because you don't have to do that whole commitment to the jump. It's much easier because so, you're in motion, like I was saying before. But, uh,. If you need more tips, uh, just send me another message. I'll email you back. That's that's all I got. Peace out.